You know what DNA stands for? Dead Nigger Association. What's up, YouTube? So I got another video for you today. It's going to be um, a mohawk um, with a burst fade. And as you can see, when I started out, I already did the bald guideline. I used my Andes Pro uh, lithium ions. I went ahead and made that first guideline. And then right here, I'm going in with my number one guard, Andes Magnetic, all the way open to go ahead and take down all the bulk off the sides and everything like that. And I'm gonna go back in and do some trigger play. Um, basically what trigger play is, it's opening and closing the lever to go ahead and debulk and take down the blend. And then I'm gonna go back in right here with my Andy's Masters, um, all the way open, no guard. And I'm gonna create my second guideline. So you can see I'm doing that right here. Um, I'm just slowly closing the lever a little bit and working right below that guideline that I made. And you can see that I'm combing a lot. That's just to go ahead and get all the extra hairs off so you can see the full on blend. And since we're only fading to a one open, um, we're only gonna use one other guard other than the no guard open and that's gonna be the zero guard. And the zero guard's good because it helps you get in between a no guard open and a one guard open. And then what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna go ahead and um, use my no clipper or no guard all the way close. And I'm just gonna take off the bulk off the side of the head. And then I'm gonna go back in right here with my two guard just to take off some of the bulk just to uh, help it blend a little easier into the long hair. Not creating another guideline. You could see when I'm using that two guard, I just go in and scoop out. So right here, I'm combing down the front hairs for his lineup, and then I'm gonna use my GTX. They are zero gapped, and they have a deep tooth blade on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that lineup nice and crispy. And I'm only gonna do half this haircut. As you can see, the other side of his haircut is already done. So this was just to match it. I recently just bought a new camera, so I'm using that to uh, film this. So it was just a test try and the video actually came out really good and the haircut came out even better. So I'm just doing the lineup right now. Making sure everything's crispy and everything like that. And then right here I see that the right side of his head was a little, little lower than the left side. So I went and straightened that out. And then right here I'm just hitting the hooks and the curve. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side right here. So what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna do no guard all the way close just to take off the rest of the bulk to help it blend into the top of the mohawk. And you can see right here, I'm dry shaving him. I'm using Persona double edge blades and I'm pulling the skin down to his eyebrows and I'm straight razoring up against the grain. Not pushing too hard, just making sure that the razor still glides. And you can see that that lineup's coming out real fresh. So then I'm gonna hit the side of the box right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the hook. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. As you can see that little ash line, that's just because the hair is clean and the skin is clean. So since I'm dry shaving him, you're able to see that. And then right here, I'm gonna freehand the top of his hair. Uh, my camera does go out of focus just a little bit. 
but you can see I'm freehand in the top just to go ahead and lower it down a little bit but basically just taking off the stragglers and everything like that he still wanted to keep the blonde in his hair and he didn't want to take too much off but I told him we should trim it down just a little bit and as you can see that fade came out real nice and that lineup came out real nice So after I'm done freehanding right here, I'm gonna go back and use my curl sponge on them. And then you're gonna go ahead and see the final product. Dust them off real quick. And there you go, YouTube. There you go with that uh, mohawk with the burst fade. Curls on top. Thank you for watching. Once again, like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video.